Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to American McGee's Grim. This is Iron John. Hopefully, it's about a toilet. When a disobedient child recklessly jeopardizes the lives of countless innocents for the sake of a toy and is rewarded, we know we're upside down in fairyland. Do even dribbling dreamers desire such a place? The forest has been off limits for years. Now, an ambitious huntsman claims that he can bag the homicidal maniac who lives there and render the woods safe for decent people. Fear is a complete stranger to me, my friend. I have discovered the fiend's lair. Bring pails and some rope. We'll expose the monster. Well demanded, son. But reasonable questions find few answers in fairy tales. He's resting, cramps, etc. And he's afraid of pails. No oh, bollocks, just bail. They find the fiend and dub him Iron John. Well, why not? Looks more like that creaky, heartless tin head from Ozland to me, but who cares? They lead him back to the castle without a fuss. Strange what passes for monstrous. This cage once held Mama's favorite woolly mammoth. It will be sufficient for Iron John. Oh, joy! To frolic in the forest without being eaten, and our native witches can get on with their incantations, spells, and satanic rituals. The brute is impotent. The prince can play beside this erstwhile child killer. Let no one open the cage, on pain of death. Take the key, my dear. But as all trivial pursuits are ripe occasions for disaster in Grimm, the prince's golden ball rolls into the cage. Give me my ball, please, Iron John. Unlocking closure to commence spherical item transfer routine. No, I mustn't. The king has forbidden it. Conditions to initiate transfer protocol not met. Request rejected. Request rejected. Beep, beep, beep. Stop data transfer. Beep. Oh, cruel Iron John. For three days running, the prince returns and asks for his ball. Each time, Iron John denies him, so to speak. But on the fourth day, the boy takes a new tack. I could not open the door even if I wished to, for I don't have the key. Retrieve device from female relative's sleeping quarters. Quick as boiled asparagus, the boy brings the key and opens the door. Oh, Iron John, take me, or I shall be beaten. Beaten does not compute. Exoskeleton useless, intelligence negligible, opposable thumbs may have value, come. When the king and queen find an empty cage and their son gone, they guess what has happened, and much grief reigns in the royal court. Stupidity does not preclude sadness. Back at his forest hideaway, Iron John orders the prince to let nothing fall into his well. But the careless lad has already touched the water with his hand, and a stray hair has wafted in too. Both have turned to gold. Error, error, error. Systematic failure detected. Further malfunction equals termination. Beep, beep, beep. Terms of final warning breached. Adios. It was an accident. It wasn't my fault. My mother should have cut my hair. Cease. Failure not fatal. Return for upgrades or assistance. Exit. The prince wanders aimlessly and then finds work at the palace. First in the kitchen and then as a gardener. After some years, his appearance earned him the notice of the royal princess. But nothing really happens until a war begins. I am grown up and must go to war, but not with this nag. Iron John! Iron John! Iron John! Fully functional, fully featured equine quadruped provided. Additional options available separately. Iron 
Iron John, Iron John, Iron John. Audio receiver operational. Speak. Take back your war horse and your troops, and give me back my lame nag. All that he asks is done, and soon he's riding home on his three-legged horse, happy as a clam. An unknown knight carries the victory for us. I proclaim a feast. The princess shall throw out these three golden apples. Perhaps the unknown hero will come to catch them. <laughs> Don't expect logic from a king. When he hears about the feast, the prince calls on Iron John and asks to catch the princess's golden apples. And Iron John says, Data transmitted, Texan affirmative. And each day, the prince, in sumptuous armor, catches the apple and promptly rides away. Who is this naughty knight? I won't tolerate it. He must appear before me, pursue him, and if necessary, stab him. Parker said, logic? <laughs> During the chase, the prince is wounded and loses his helmet, exposing his golden hair. And the princess recognizes him as the gardener's helper. I know who the shy warrior is, and I want to marry him post-haste. Arrange a wedding. Are you the one who caught the golden apples? Yes, and I am the knight who helped you conquer your enemies. I owe you thanks. And as it pleases my daughter, you may take her to wife. Not standing on ceremony at long engagements, the deed is done. The prince's parents attend the wedding. How they found out about the nuptials, who knows? Telepathy? Smoke signal? Coded message? Carrier pigeon? Invisible ink? Telegraphy? Message in a gum wrapper? TV! No bloody idea. I'm called Iron John, and was as I was on account of an enchantment. But you have set me free from the curse. All the royal treasures I possess shall be yours. Well, there you have it. The ridiculous eclipsed by the incredible. Enchanted? By whom? For what reason? Cursed to be filthy rich and magically potent? And how did the prince set him free from this miserable estate? Not relevant, evidently. They all live happily ever after, I'm sure. Well, they would, wouldn't they? Nonsense comes in many flavors. Do I detect a whiff of camel dung? I think I do. A murderous fiend terrorizes the surrounding woods, and nobody gives a horse's patoot. No paralyzing fear, no raging anger. This situation demands panic and desperate resolve. Get it? Make it stinky. Yes, sir, Grim, sir. Let's grim it. <laughs> Just seems like a really weird. Was it, was it wanted killing machine. From that angle, they looked like they were doing a dance. Rings smelly now. I like the advanced technology. is very lovely. Really? You didn't even get in there? Get the cracks and crevices. Gotcha. Now this is looking good. It makes for enough blood to flow freely. The wild thing, aka Iron John, is lurking in a pond. Good choice for a toad. For a mammal, not so much. The pathetic plan to expose him will take all week. Let's give them more than a hand. Make it rotten. Become so <laughs> dark. Where's more of them? Is that it? And that's it. Grim's house. Alright. Ow. Good enough. Spike trap. I'm 
almost foul. I'm foul. Now we're foul. Almost right. Basically rotten. Rump and stomp. Uh -huh. Stop it! Ah, they're drowning. My, all those swimming lessons for naught. <laughs> oh, and he's metal. Now the man of steel, not, has been set free. No. They capture him and take him away. Speaking of, I'd better be off myself before those kiddies' parents show up in a snit. Very hot items, these golden bowls. Fairy tale royals love them. Iron John's caged in the courtyard. But where's security for this cold-blooded killer and the signs of his struggle? As for the prince, let's take that grin off the brat's pie face. Make it gross. Let's kill the clean. Grim powers in the shape of a sausage. <laughs> oh. Thanks. What do I see? In my piggy eyes. Nice. I like it. <laughs> nice. Sausage fest. Boom. Oh no, he went from peeing to vomiting. <laughs> so close. Drop it, stop it. When the dim prince rashly approaches the cage, he's snatched and forced to release the steel creature. Make it nasty. <laughs> Anybody that needs to be converted? No, you're all good. Good. Nice. Danger. Okay. Oh. We should be friends. I need to start thinking that shit. And jump right over it. Got you, whatever that was that I ended up gotting. 
No, really. What did I end up got? <laughs> Beware the I just struck. Man has rockets on the soles of his shoes. Whee! <laughs> Next stop, the Arboreal Hideaway. I am the Terminator. This enchanted well has the Midas touch. The prince, in his usual stellar style, guards it. I'm shocked he's only turned his fingers gold. This is preposterous. His failure has to put Midas himself to shame. We should gild this lily. Make it nasty. <laughs> it's grim time. <laughs> Oh! Interesting... Interesting effects. It is very digital. For the digital age. Let's get you all the way up there. So stupid chipmunks can't clear up there. I guess they're squirrels, not chipmunks, but you know, whatever. Now, I... That squirrel was admiring oh. my plant. And speed boost. Hey, give me that. Thank you. That was kind of a waste of a speed boost. It really was. Alright. Oh. We almost got the whole edge. Staring at a tree's butt. Super speed! Oh, no, perhaps they can actually do that. That sucks. More speed boost. Woo! The nasty. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Let's get this over with. Got it. And got all you. Ooh, digital. Digital rodents. I approve of digital rodents. <laughs> yeah. Digitize. There, there's one more, two more. Now there's one more. Got you. See, squirrels are bad, even digital ones. Make it disgusting. But stump. Woo! Grim goes fast. Why am I stumped? Don't delay, but stomp away. But stomped. Oh, hey, hold up there, metal man. The boy did bad and turned everything to gold. <laughs> oh, a world of molten gold. Our little prince goes to Uncle Iron John and requests an army to defeat his king's enemy. Can a three-legged horse still carry a person? Their journey should be more miserable. Make it rotten. Grim it! Grim, grim, grim. 
<laughs> All blast. <laughs> you all look very happy. Ow. Oh, nice. Modern warfare right here. Destroy them. You're not cleaning my uh, laser turret. Stomp it! <laughs> no delay, but stomp away! Uh. A good old fashioned war on a massive scale to settle a dispute. I like it! But why is nobody dying? Why is everybody smiling? What are the eviscerations? Heck limbs, decapitations! War is more than heck! Can robots lick the dogs of war? Make it repulsive! Okay. First. First things first. These assholes. Bad enough of their cleanliness. Yeah, run into the corner. <laughs> All of you die. You will all die horribly and painfully. They put a lot of detail into Grim changes. Nasty. Now this is a proper war zone. So much death and destruction. Yeah. I can barely see. Come repulsive. But dead. Uh, reasons unexplained, the prince is treated like a crusading potentate by Iron John, and he wears armored costumes to impress the princess. Make it rotten. Make a mess. <laughs> oh, I can't convert those. Oh, I wanted laser turrets. Now, I now. Get in there. So close. So close. Chomp and stomp. There we go. I like that armor. Forget the apples, they're just a metaphor, a sideshow. 
A contest with a big, nasty weapon is more likely. The prince gets a new swish outfit, and he enters the joust. Make it disgusting. Jousting. Bah. That was quick. <laughs> Very nice. After kicking Major Butt in archery and jousting, he manages to win oh, the great. sword tournament too. The fix is in. Look at him. Make it putrid. <laughs> Getting some serious frame drops when I do that now. Yeah, that time wasn't bad. That time was. I will turn you all. Stomp it! Got this tiny little bit here. And bone. Oh, I prefer the red armor. <laughs> Run, little penis bot. Uh, you got something stuck on your sword there. Okay. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> Ooh, that is a big penis spot. Stand a chance. The final metal foe. He runs back to. Well, you know. Do I have to say it? Another quickie wedding. Jeez. Matrimony is said to be an honorable estate when not taken in hand unadvisedly or wantonly to satisfy carnal lust and appetite like brute based. So what should you call this sordid affair? Hmm? Make it disgusting. All right, Grim. Charge! <laughs> happening at once. Oh no, I do like these. Wedding crushers! Wedding crushers is more like it. Hey, put me down! I don't want to be rude! In a box. What is this? Mission impossible! I'm starting to like the bro. Not that there's anything wrong with that. This is getting tedious, isn't it? Make yeah. it disgusting. <laughs> Not my best move. in there. Stomping! Okay. 
Got you. And you. No. I got that. Now how do I get out? No. I spoke too soon. Families at the same table. Awkward! I'm hoping way before dessert, insults real or imagined are traded, and the facade of propriety disintegrates into a name calling knockdown knife fight! Well, I can dream, can't I? Make it file. <laughs> okay, Grim. Now, I. What the f uh, How the hell did I get back down here? Right. Now I'm putrid. Right. Fuck off. Friends. There. Ow. Stay away from that fucking thing. Stopping. Yeah. Got it. Fucking annoying ass shit. What the? Ah! That's what I need, a frickin' jetpack. Or, you know, with spark. This machine. I'm not sure whose side I'm on. I'm just glad the wedding's ruined. <laughs> Any cake, Billy? No! This at least makes sense. An indiscriminate, insatiable man eater on the loose. And the populace shuffling about like somnambulists, wondering which of them will be his next meal. Or snack, can you whisper abject fear? <laughs> the 
The villagers have a right to be frightened, I suppose. But I've seen zombies with more joie de vivre than these petrified mopes. I spit upon fear, my friend. And the fiend, too. Let the best of you follow me. Capturing him is worth any sacrifice. Ah, you know the type. He means any sacrifice others will make. He's just there to pick up the pieces. Expose yourself, my friends. Don't fear the light. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> Too much. Those men are just stunned. What can light do? <laughs> You'll soon exhaust his resources, whatever they are. Many of those who came to bail water are reduced to cinders and ash by the light. Their leader has exposed himself behind a boulder. Ah, I knew it! It's out of firepower! Wrap the iron thing in cables and drag him out! The deranged automaton is a nice touch. Eliminates the how does it breathe underwater query. Don't approach the cage except to feed him. He likes to play with his grub. It don't like to play with him, of course. <laughs> Too bad for them. Recycling the local riffraff reduces the criminal population and keeps the thing happy. Yoo-hoo! Friends, why not play a bit closer to the cage? He's mostly harmless now. You have something of mine. Give it me back! I don't throw balls. Come inside so I may hand it to you. A characteristically poor decision by the prince. But there's no tale at all without it. I give you a simple job and you make a hash of it. You did the one thing I told you not to do. Your next failure will be your last. But my hand hurt and I just touched the water lightly. Plus I saw... Enough! I have hunters to kill and children to eat and technology to tame. I can't supervise you too. That's it. You're terminated. Get out! Make me believe you're not an incompetent waste of space and protoplasm! Some lackey at the royal palace took pity on the hapless prince and gave him a job as a scullery boy. After many years in the kitchen, the prince's ambition kicks in, and ill-prepared and ill-equipped, he goes to war. If I'm to be a knight, I must have a horse! My kitchen for a horse! The prince showed little initiative or skill in his youth. We're not surprised that his later years are similarly uninspired. It will be difficult, but not impossible, to win a heroic victory with this steed. Hmm, this forest looks familiar. I've been here before. What ho! Oh, such strange weapons, and odd enemies too. This fight is not all about me. Am I the instrument of a grander plan? The tool of a brilliant strategic mind? The agent of a stronger, higher power? Don't make me regret saving your sorry ass. Get to work! There's killing to do! Oh yeah! Here comes the good stuff. Weird, I'll admit, but good! My powers are extraordinary. I'm unbeatable. Incomparable! Wait, there's something happening here, but I don't know what it is. I'm not my own man! No kidding. When he said he was a tool, he got it just right. The winner of the contest must marry my daughter. I really, really like your color dharma. It's super hot. Let's dance! Who wouldn't run away from this? But the prince is captured in the end. The wedding date is fixed. The stupid wedding is unavoidable, but the outcome not inevitable. Son-in-law, you'll make a fine addition to my retinue. You'll live here with my daughter and me. He won't. You'll live with his true parents. Our kingdom and army has missed him these many years. You are both unworthy and befouled pretenders. You must pay! I will separate the deserving wheat from the despicable chaff. Prince Connor has lifted the curse that was on me. He will be my heir. Prince Connor's not that impressive. Perhaps Iron John liked the kid's smile. All powerful doesn't mean all smart, evidently. May all our stories end so well. <laughs> Until next time. Right. So, 
That one was probably the most confusing. Where are the three kingdoms? He was in one kingdom, he's the prince, and then he goes to the kingdom of another kingdom. They're usually not that close together that you can, you know, stroll between them. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Take care.